In the fields of Carroll County, where geese soak in the sun and a dog named Gypsy hangs out near a babbling brook, it's a kind of peace not lost on the men who work here. This is what I do every day. I just sit here and soak it in. Things I haven't been able to smell for a long time. I mean, I see freedom. Pablo, like the other men here, is an inmate. Come here, boy. What's up, boy? Been a good boy today. At Second Chances in Sykesville, the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation rescues racehorses, and they've teamed up with the Department of Corrections to care for the animals and teach job skills to the inmates getting ready for release. Some guys come here with some experience, but others have never, ever been around a horse, never even touched a horse. That's Anthony Payne. It's been an eye-opening experience for me. It's a lot that goes on here at the farm. We have one horse that's on the low starch, pretty much like a diabetic in human terms. During the six-month program, the men learn more than just about how to care for the horses. He's really easy to groom and everything. He loves the camera, as you see. But much about themselves. So I've benefited a lot, not only learning uh, knowledge of horses and uh, good horsemanship, but uh, I'm also learning new things about myself that I haven't experienced in a long time, like uh, trust and things like that. Absolutely all about trust, to be honest with you because horses react off of your instincts and your feelings. So developing that trust with them, I mean, it really goes a long way. Reminds me of what I enjoy doing. I enjoy horses, always have. And it taught me confidence, to be confident in the situation now. You know, to, to stand, to, to be a man, to stand up. Pablo's been behind bars for 14 years, but this, it's been life changing and something he wants to spend the rest of his life doing when he gets out. It, I, it's definitely a blessing. I just thank God for allowing me to see this every day. Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.